Hey, what's up? Uh, wow, this lighting is just the weirdest thing ever. One second, let me move this. Yeah, that's not flattering, so I'm gonna try to lean out of the light. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, I just wanted to make this because I, I just made the stupid things I've done video, and I think I should make a stupid things I've done part two, because I've done a lot of stupid things. Uh, okay, so there's only two in this one. Number one, um, one second, let me turn, I cannot stand this lighting. Uh, not better. Not better. Uh, okay. So, part one, or story one. This one was more just f plain freaking stupid. My mom and I were going to a restaurant in downtown Milwaukee, and in the front entrance of this restaurant they had a small display of cactuses and you could buy the smaller cactuses and my mom was talking about how she should get one because she hadn't had cactuses in a long time and she usually liked to have cactuses but I didn't hear any of that because I saw this one cactus and just locked onto it I saw this cactus and I tunnel visioned the only thoughts in my head were, that's a cactus, GRAB IT! And so I grabbed this cactus, I grabbed this cactus with all my might, I grabbed a cactus, really hard, so that's the story of how I grabbed a cactus. My mom didn't know what was running through my head, and seriously, I don't either. Who grabs a cactus? That's million. That's a, millions of years of human evolution just failing, because we're all... Everyone knows, that's pointy, don't touch it. Um, this next one has to do with the Milwaukee Admirals. These next two have to do with the Milwaukee Admirals. Uh, this one, long story short, I've fallen up the stairs of the Bradley Center twice. Very hard. Okay. Well, that wasn't really a story, that was just a little tidbit. Uh, second story. Um, since my dad and I have half-season tickets for the Milwaukee Admirals, my we go to the season ticket pickup, and that's just where the owners and the coaches talk for a few minutes, and then you can go around like this little area where the players are sitting, get autographs, talk to them. Um... Found out what happened to Mika Salamaki that kept him out for most of the season last year. He got a shoulder injury. And now he's out with another upper body injury. I'm scared. <laughs> Mika's my boo bear. Um, but I digress. We were going around the U talking to the players, and I noticed um, Cody Bass, his hands, her, his knuckles were really torn up, and... Um, I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but at the time mine were pretty torn up too. And so I kind of said, hey, twins. And he thought it was pretty amusing. So for, so that was the first time I'd ever seen him. I was like, I like this guy. I like this Cody Bass. He seems swell. And then as we're watching like a few more games, I was like, hmm, I like Cody Bass. Seems like he could give a good spanking. And I don't know why that thought didn't alarm me. So I was about to be like, hmm, he seems like someone I could call daddy. And I, mind you, I'm sitting next to my dad. I almost turned to my father and said, you know, Cody Bass is daddy material. I didn't say it. So, okay, that's one stupid thing I've done. And one stupid thing I came really close to doing. I almost proclaimed another man daddy material to my father. Um, and when Cody Bass got called up recently, I said to a few of my friends, hey, my daddy, and by that I don't mean my father, got called up. But now he's down in Milwaukee and I'm gonna see the game Sunday, so we get to see daddy play. 
So, moral of the story, moral of these stories, don't grab cactuses, it'll end badly, and if you're going to talk about your daddy, don't do it to your father. <laughs> um, bye.